Interrupted, you know, Shatan, the prince of the air. Every time we bring this word out, he always got to try something to disrupt this word, you know. Especially here, especially here in this wicked, this wicked uh, vibration, man. You know, we we trying to bring out the word of the Lord to try to wake up the elect and, and try to teach our people that Satan want to come with his his his, his power and, and and knock the camera down. Man. We didn't lost cameras uh, because of Shatan, man. You know, but Shatan, you know, by the power of Yahweh, by Shemuel Shah, he's not gonna stop this word, man. It's gonna continue to go out. It's gonna continue to go out, man. The word don't go out void. Right. You know? We're gonna continue to push the light. Just to what you're saying, we're gonna continue to push the vibration of Yahweh, by Shemuel Shah, across the whole four corners of the earth. That's right. Us and all the other brothers gonna make sure that gets done. That's, That's right. the job he got us doing. That's what we gonna get done. That's and right. nothing but him gonna push us off these streets. Right. You know, because that, that has that's prophecy that has to go out. It has to go out to all of the earth. Then, he can, then the Lord can come back, which is the day that we hasten for. Right. So anyway, go back to, uh, back to yeah, Isaiah 58. Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression uh -huh. and the house of Jacob their sins. So we're supposed to come out here and tell you where you're sitting at. And what is sin according to the Bible? Transgression of the Heavenly Father's laws, man. So we're supposed to come out here and tell you where you're going off at. All right? And if you're celebrating these, these uh, pagan holidays that America sets up, you're transgressing. Right. You know? If you, if, you go, if you went to church today, to, to, to Sunday service, and, 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 and it's all dedicated to, to the, uh, the worship of your mother, you, you all are in, 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 in guilty of sin, right? You know, the Lord didn't set up days for you to 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 to, uh, to, to, to worship or, or put your your vibration or energy on something else outside of the Heavenly Father, right? All right. And if I may say, uh, the difference is you honor your father and your mother. You yep. honor them in your deed by doing righteousness. Right. You don't only honor them just to say, oh, mom, I love you today, I loved you yesterday. It ain't about that. Right. It's, about, it's about doing righteousness. That's right. When you do righteousness, that's the honor unto them. That's that they right. know that you're a balanced man or a woman or whatever. Yep. You know that you that you know that you be in the right way according to the heavenly father. That's where the honor is at. That's right. Hey, get Exodus 20 and 12, man. You know? Because we're not saying don't don't honor your parents that's the, that's that's one of the commandments man honor your, your mother and your father your father and your mother but don't take this day out out of all the days in the year to go out and express that you love or or or, or have some type of value towards your mother man you're supposed to do that all year long don't wait till the white man tell you to go out and, 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 and honor your mom it should be it should be evident in your daily life that you honor and you love your mother. That's right. Every day is Mother's Day. Every day is Father's Day. Not just today. That's right. Don't treat them like shit every day. Don't treat them like shit every day. And then all of a sudden one day you, you want to treat them. Keep the up here. Keep out the three days. Exodus chapter 20 verse 12. Honor thy father and thy mother. Right. Honor thy father and thy mother, meaning to, to, to value and understand the importance of your mother and your father. You know, the, the Lord chose those two vessels for you to come through. That's why you're supposed to uh, honor them. You know, not only that, but they, you know, they, they were there for you to, to raise you, to nurture you, to bring you up in the ways that you're supposed to go. But sadly enough, since we're under these curses, for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives, it's not really so for, for a bunch of you, man. Because we don't have we don't have the, the, the respect of the respectable and honorable parents that we're supposed to have in this day and age, man. Because they didn't raise us up 
to, to fear the through Lord. The, through, the, through the Lord, man. Right. They didn't raise us up according to this, man. Now, now growing up in the church is because it's the same thing. Let's not let's get that straight. Just because huh? some of your mamas or whoever raised you in the church don't make them holy, man. Right. Don't make that the right way. Right. Some of us are better off not, not growing up in the church That's and right. then coming into this. That's right. Yeah, man. Hey, because it was through your mother or your grandmother that that's that, that had you growing up in the church. So she basically brought you into that pagan uh, Christianity worship. Yeah. She brought you into Roman Catholicism. You know? If she raised you according to that, then she wasn't being a, she's not a good parent, man. That's right. She didn't you to discretion. Yeah. I mean, can I hit you up Isaiah? Uh, Isaiah chapter 3, verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. Yep. My point of what was about the women rule over them, but let me keep reading. Hey, and, 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 and to show you that these women are ruling over the over these these pussy ass men, is a lot of men that let's say if they took a stand and was like, no, I'm not gonna worship Mother's Day today. You gonna, your mom, your woman gonna gonna flip you inside out and tuck you right back in her fucking. Skirt, man. <laughs> and you go and she gonna go make you and, and, and buy her and, and her mama some flowers, man. You know? And then, you know, like my mom, I, I purposely don't call my mom today. And when, if she has an attitude or a problem with it, the first thing I tell her is, Mom, I talked to you yesterday, I talked to you two days ago, however long I talked to you for you and, or, or whatever you ask, you know, yeah. within reason. Do, do I not honor you every day? Do I to, to show my love for you? I can only do it on, on Mother's Day. I would hope that that you that you know that I'm doing the very best I can to honor you every day, That's not right. just on this one day by giving you a gift or giving you flowers. Right. To me, in, 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 in my mind, it's, it's more valuable to have me honoring you every day and not just one day a year. That's right. That's right. Man. Duties that you do for your for your mother and your and your uh, father every day is it, it, it's, 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 a, it's an act, man. Uh, love love is an action, man. When you do for that that particular being, then, then, then that, that's you loving that person, man. You know, I don't have to necessarily buy you roses and, and, and teddy bears to show you that I that I love you. You know. It could be a, a deed where, you know, it was, it was hectic for me to do it, but I got it done for you. Right. You know, you had me come and, and do something for you. I did something around around the house, you know. I didn't have to take off at work or I had to uh, sacrifice something to come deal with you for, 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 to help you out. That's an act of love, man. Not me just buying you some, uh, some, some candy and, and, and some flowers, man. Children are their oppressors and women rule over them. Yep. 
O oh, my people, they which lead thee, because the ruler leads you, right? It says, they which lead thee cause thee to err and destroy the ways of thy paths. That's what a lot of uh, grandmamas and mamas have done by putting you inside the Roman Catholicism uh, church houses. And that, that, all that falls under that is what the churches, in every way, whether it's Muslim, whether it's Catholic, whether it's Christian, all of that belief and all this pagan worship that they got you doing, whether they know it's pagan or not, whether the intent was righteous or not, the fact that you follow these things is it, it, wrong. Man, you being led away from your mom, she she doesn't she's not she doesn't know the Bible. She doesn't know the righteousness of the Heavenly Father, man. Right. She the, the woman is geared toward her spirit is geared towards being in the world, man. And as long as you being raised by your, your mother, she's gonna keep you in the world. You know? She's gonna keep you in the world. And, and if you and if you raised by under her vibration, that's the reason why you're gonna keep Mother's Day. You're gonna you're gonna think this day is that important because she got you in the world, and this is what she taught you to honor, to keep, to keep the commandments of men. Esau is who taught you to keep these uh, these so-called holidays, man. Right. The Heavenly Father didn't give you these days. The Lord gave us a list of high holy days we're supposed to keep. I guarantee you, your mother don't know any of them. And don't, don't hold none of them. And don't hold any of them. She'll she doesn't hold, care about she'll, them. She'll keep Easter, but won't keep the Passover, not realizing it's supposed to be the same thing. Because Easter's a, a Greek way to say, uh, well, that's what they've changed it over to. And it's just a direct way to say Ishtar in another language. But the word Easter goes back to the Greek word Pascha, which goes back to the Hebrew word Pesach, which goes back to the meaning of Passover. But they'll keep that instead of keeping, they'll keep the idol worship of the woman doing Ishtar and Easter versus keeping the Passover, which was given by the Heavenly Father. But that just, that's just an illustration, Salakhi, bro. But that's just an illustration on, on, on the ass backwardness of, of letting the woman lead you. That's right. They're going to lead you to the wrong thing. Then they're going to put that pork on the table and the abominations on that table on the feast days yep. as well. Yep. And they're not going to give a, a praise to the Most High in His real name to Yahweh by Hashem on those days either. That's right. That's right. Yeah, so. uh, this is Job chapter 39, verse 16. This, Hey, because it, it's Mother's Day, is it, it, it gives most of these women, if not all of them, that have children, it gives them that that, that sense of pride. Man. You ain't supposed to. You ain't supposed to be proud uh, 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 about uh, being something that you're supposed to be. Ain't, ain't no pride. You don't, you don't take pride in, in that, man. You, you're a mother because the Lord made you a mother. Man. He chose you to be a vessel to, to give birth unto a, a, a spirit that he wanted to come down into the earth for, man. So this day basically lifts you, it, 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 puff, it puffs you up. It lifts you up, man. And then you go home and, and, and play them songs from, from the uh, music uh, entertainment world, you know? I know a lot of you niggas bumping that dear mama and shit, you know? <laughs> you, you, you know, uh, what was that song in the 70s? I will always love my mama. She girl, something like that. It was some song, I forget what group, uh, from the 70s. But it's a lot of his boys and men, you know? Off the, off the, so cool and shit. All them niggas was doing, was, was was making a song about uh, woman, uh, mother worship, man. The queen of heaven. That's all it goes back to, which is idol worship, which all you people are in, indulged in. Idol worship, the worship of the other of, of the woman. Go ahead, bro. I'm gonna start way at the top. Go ahead. Uh, uh, it's Job chapter 38, verse 39. He says, because what I want to illustrate here is basically who you're supposed to ask. You ask your mom, you know your mother or whoever, and they do these things for you. You gotta ask the most high. Yep. And you know, 
and give praise to him. Uh, the problem with the situation is she doesn't do that. So I'm going to start with the top. It says, uh, Job 38, verse, verse 39. Will thou hunt for the prey for the lion or feel the appetite of the young lions? When they crouch in their dens and abide in their covert to lie in wait, that's a question, lie in wait, who provided for the raven his food when his young ones cried unto, the, unto God, they wander for lack of meat. And that, and, and, and see, a lot of you think your mama will cook every day. She, you know, she does this, she does that, not realizing the most high made all that possible. He set that up to have whether in today's time you had the money to go into the store to get it so she could cook that. The ability gave her the ability to make that wonderful tasting food. You know? Not, not just because oh, my mind was so great, it's the most high is so great. Go to the source of these things. You know, not just stop at mom because she's the one in the flesh carnally that you see make it happen. The most high spiritually made it happen first. Continue on, verse uh, 1 in, in chapter 39 says, Knowest thou the time when the, the wild goats and the rock bring forth? And canst thou mark when the, the hind do cow? It says, Canst thou number the months that they fulfill? Or knowest thou the time when they bring forth? They bow themselves, they bring forth their young ones, they cast out their sorrows. Their young ones are in good liking, they grow up with corn, they go forth and return down to them. And that's kind of the, uh, and it, uh, to, to kind of sum all that up right there, that's when you get the most high does that and how the animal kingdom uh, treats their mothers. Not in a disrespectful way, but they, 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 they appreciate them for their purpose, you know? But after that, once you can do these things for yourself, their purpose is for, for you. It's just, it's over. Yeah, it's over. Now it's time for you to become a new creature to do that for yours. That's right. Just like within the, within man, as soon as you become of a certain age, you become a male and a woman. You don't need your parents anymore, man. They didn't raise you up to that to that state, and their, their purpose of being your parents was already fulfilled when you became a man and a woman. You know? That's why you gotta. That's why you gotta. Uh, when you raise your children, it's best for you to raise them from the young age, man. Get, raise them up from the young age to the Lord and to, and to teach them the real things of this world from the young age so when they grow up, they don't have to uh, to try to figure it out. So they grew up knowing the right things to do. Train up a child in the way that he should go. Right. Which majority of, of, of the women of our nation failed that, man. Because they don't know the right way. Because they don't know the right way. Because they broke the, the links. Like they broke the link of the totem pole that goes woman, man, to the most high, the Lord, the most high. And, you know, and, and vice versa back down into the children. That link in the chain from the most high God to the Lord, to man, to woman, to the children, that, that link is not there because the man is not there. And Esau perpetuates not having a man there. And days like today, like Mother's Day, further perpetuate that you don't need a man in the household, yep. in, in, in your mind. Versus the truth being that you do need a man. You need that balance, you need that stable mind to do it. Now, I ain't gonna just, just give men a pass and say a lot of men didn't mess up in the first place. Yeah, we did. We under curses as well. But we, you know, but, we, but it doesn't change the fact of what's going on. And we don't get out of, we get shit talked about us for not being there. So you should get shit talked about you for fucking up yep. the situation. Sorry. Until until we get it right. Only way to get it right is to put that order back and have everybody in order doing it through this. Oh, let me keep reading this. It's gonna catch it too. It says uh, verse four. Their young ones are in good liking, they grow up with corn, they go forth and return not unto them. Who have sent out wild ass free? Or who has loosened the bands of the wild ass? All right, this is all the most high to It says, uh, whose house I have made this wilderness and the barren land his dwelling. He scorned the multitude of the city, neither regarded 
he's the trying of the driver. It says, uh, the range of the mountains is his pasture, and he searches after every green thing. Will the unicorn be willing to serve thee, or abide by thy crib? Canst thou bind the unicorn with his band in the furrow? Or will he hollow in the valley after thee? The most high can control all of that. You people can't control none of these things. You know? But, but you're meant to control yourself and your children. And the way you control your children is, is teaching them righteousness so they won't go astray. And you don't have to worry about the men running wild asses or wild beasts running off the field. Believe him that he will bring home thy seed and gather in the barn and thy barn. Gavest thou the goodly wings unto the peacocks, four wings and feathers unto the ostrich. Says, which leaveth her eggs in the earth and warmeth them in the dust. And a lot of women are like that. I just gotta speak on that part. Yes, right. Come on, bro. How many, how many Jake families, you know, or a bunch of Jakes that got, that got uh, aunties or they got female cousins in their family that's always dropping their kids off on somebody else, man? How, how, how many of you could, uh, could say that about any a, 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 a female in your family? I, I guarantee you every Jake got a woman like that in their family. She can't never uh, have time to be a parent to, to her son or her daughter, man. She's, she got to find time to go out there and be, in a, be off in the world and do whatever the hell she's out there doing, some wild shit probably. But she got her kids under her grandma, under her sister, somebody else babysitting her kids while she go run wild, man. Which means everybody else babysitting your kids. Right. You know? Instead of you being at home and being a mother trying to teach and, and correct and nurture them, you know? I could, I could speak that because I got several women in my family that are like that, man. She got different baby daddies, and they all just be get pushed and put on everybody else, man. A, a, a woman like that, why, 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 why would there need to be a day like this set up for women like that, man? Right. She ain't no fucking mother. She's just an incubator, man. Hey, cause a lot of a lot of a lot of uh, people out there, especially Jake, a lot of Jake's honor them, them women as well. They don't only honor good mother, they try to honor every just cause you a mother, you get honored on a day like today. And that you don't deserve no honor on a day like today. If you ain't if you drop your kids off or like they like said and leave their children in the dust, right? How many times? Uh, uh, do we know examples of, of the streets raising these young boys? Yep. And, then, and then you wonder why the, the men aren't in the household, because they're raised as women, and the streets raised them. And then you wonder why they in jail, why they game banging, why they uh, 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 drug dealing and everything and so on and so forth. Don't have a uh, general education, you know, because you allowed the streets to raise them. You know? Because you, cause you, you allowed the streets to raise them. And you weren't being a mother, you left them in the dust. You, you had them, you left them to, to grow up to be how they were. You didn't reprimand them when you needed to. There's a bunch of examples of, of shit that y'all did wrong. That's why I love watching Tommy Sotomayor. He gets on your heads every day. He gonna make y'all accountable for the, for, the, for the role that you played in destroying our people. It wasn't just the men not being present, being in jail doing shit. Some of, the, some of the men that got locked up, got locked up because Esau knew if they was in the household, it would, uh, they, they would run shit the right way. And then the other side of it, a lot of men went out there and did the hard work of drug dealing and all that just to provide for their family and their children. A lot of good things happened that way. So a, lot, a lot of bad things happened to people that did things for the right intent. Because don't forget, there was, there was decades where, where, where Negro men and Latinos couldn't get jobs, but they still had to provide for the mouths of their children. And you can't say just because uh, you don't have a job you shouldn't be having kids. People do it all damn day. 
that that's a gift from the Heavenly Father. He lets you know. I, I, I guarantee you, a woman ain't gonna stick around if you ain't if you ain't having sex with her. And if you have a sex with her, you gonna have kids. Just because you ain't got a job ain't got nothing to do with pleasing your woman. But but you but a lot of people wanna say that. Well, don't have kids. That's why they invented the condom now. So you can still please your woman without having kids. Well, the act of having sex goes into that. We have to go that far. I'm about to go somewhere else, but you know. But it just it just further illustrates how you how the role that you women play and how you don't deserve to be uh, put on the pedestal at all. But he saw he he he, he wants you to, to 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 believe. He wants to give you the notion that you're supposed to be somebody that's just way up on high. He puts you on the pedestal. That's because he worships the woman, man. Yeah? That's the reason why in his society, everything can be the opposite. Yeah. The woman can rule the household, so you break up with your wife, well, everything goes to her, the children, and, and plus the children. When dealing with the children, your, the, the mother got the, got all the power over that child, man. Yeah. He'll give, he gives the mother more power over the child than the man ever can get. And that's, and that's wicked, man. That's that's show seed. When a man have a, a a child, man, that's his seed, man. That's his possession. That's his possession. He planted that child. It came from his flesh. Fucking demons, man. Sorry. Yeah, man. Yeah, let me go back. Go back to it. I got a couple scripts too. Verse fourteen, uh, Job thirty nine and fourteen, which leaveth her eggs in the earth and walk them in the dust and forget it that the foot may crush them or that the wild beast may break them. Yep. And how many times uh, you, you, you can see when, uh, especially maybe with the nigga woman, she leave her child in a, in, a, in a car while she going off to a concert and her child is stuck in that car for three, four hours. So she gets arrested and the, and the child either get taken by Esau or the child might even die, man. Yeah. Or a woman, a careless ass nigga woman, she left her child home by herself and, and, and something ended up happening while she went to go do something and came back and, and something tragic happened to her her child. Yeah. They found a gun and they shot each other up. Yeah. You know? Under her care, shit always happening, you know? Shit is always happening. Right, because her attention span, we're about to get to that, but her attention span ain't enough, and her and her intent ain't, ain't good enough to raise children alone. She, she's like the real babysitter when it comes to it, but as far as teaching uh, real ideals and lessons to these children, she's not the best example for that, especially not you bitches today. Especially. Especially not y'all today. It takes, it takes a special... Uh, 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 it takes a special man, let alone a woman, to, to be able to take to, to raise a child the right way. And it definitely needs both. Because men to get all the information to do it, they, they ain't gonna have time to be watching kids, giving them baths, cooking all day. Hey, that's what the women are for. And that's why you have multiple wives. Just throw that on the top. Selfish ass. Anyways. Mothers out there perpetrating to be mothers today because Esau declared his day national worship day of the mother. A lot of you don't even have solid relationships with your sons, man. You don't even have a solid relationship with But you want to perpetrate like you this righteous woman. All because this 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 particular male came up out of your home. So you're supposed to be respected and, and praised all of a sudden, man. The Lord, he didn't praise his mom. He didn't praise Mary. In, in, in a sense, to some of you, he disrespected her when she came to the capital with his brothers. To hey, your mom's over there. To hey, your mom's over there, she want to talk to you. Like, who's my mother? But those that do the will of the Holy Father, behold, my mother and my brother. Go see what she's doing. Oh, yeah, mama. Yeah, he was busy. 